Hello, my name is Deanie. I'm just going to take a few minutes of your time to introduce you to our match visualizer using the match visualizer. Let's start with the left hand side. This is the main navigation section of the match visualizer. You'll see confirmation of your project name and the lists you're matching. Below this you'll see the match waiting section. This is where you control which elements of your list you'd like to match on and define their comparative importance. To adjust the importance you can either drag the slider for each data description or type an exact value into the box provided. Initially all data descriptions are set to 100%. You'll want to review this depending on your lists. For example, if you're matching lists with contact names you may wish to devalue some of the address fields to increase the importance of contact names, job titles etc. Below this you'll see the Run Match button which will run a new match based on your adjusted criteria or refresh the charts below once you've approved some records manually. The bar chart shows the scoring bands for your potential matches. The total score for each match is determined by the match weightings you applied. Please visit our blog for more information on our match scoring. By clicking on the grey bars in this chart you can start to review the matches within each score band. We'll look at this in more detail shortly. You can also use the drop down boxes below to review the matches based on the same parameters as the charts if you wish. The pie chart at the bottom shows you the number of potential matches for each row within your source list and the number of matches that you've either approved and rejected against each of these. So let's start reviewing our matches. I'll start by clicking on the top score band of 95 to 100. Click on this bar to load the matches into the right hand pane of the visualizer. You'll notice the bar now has an orange glow. All the matches shown in this pane scoring within the 95 to 100 band are also enclosed in an orange glow, whilst other lower scoring matches are also displayed. In the Match to List Visualizer you can clearly see the matching values from each list side by side for instant verification. The score for each match is shown on the blue bar as you can see here. The first two fields are hyperlinks to enable you to quickly qualify matches using trusted resources such as Google. At the bottom of the visualizer you'll see the number of pages of matches that have been returned and you can use the arrow buttons to navigate between them or type in a page number to go to a specific page. You'll notice the buttons to accept or reject each match, just click as required. After scanning a few pages of results for a score banding, you'll soon know if you feel confident to approve the matches in this band. If you're happy these are all great matches, use the auto approval options above. Drag the slider to the required value or type it into the box provided. Once done, click the green tick button to approve all matches above your chosen score. You'll see all the approved matches are shown in green with a small A icon indicating these matches were approved automatically. You can clear all the automatic matches instantly using the orange undo button. Once cleared you can restart the auto approval process. As you progress down the bars to a level you feel are not consistent enough to be automatically approved you can then either start approving them manually or change your match weightings and try again. As an example, I'll devalue the post stroke zip code and city to concentrate the weightings on the company name and address. Now I'll rematch the list using this new criteria. You'll notice all the approvals I've made are maintained, so I'm now looking for a new high scoring matches to approve automatically. I recommend you continue to adjust the weightings and rematch until you can no longer identify any significant new high scoring matches. This way you're reducing the manual effort required to review and accept by hand. Once you've finished approving your matches you can close the visualizer window or click on the download results button to download your match results. You can close the visualizer at any time and come back later to continue reviewing your matches. Don't forget to check out our blog and feature tour for more information about using our match visualizer. Thank you.